Good. Don't. Don't. Hello. It's crapping them. Summer, Summer update. update. No mo. No mo. Numero <laughs> dos. Stupid. Good. Don't. What have we done? We cleaned the garage out finally. We got that pool table kitty cornered. Um, the two biggest obnoxious things here. Yeah, this Long was this was over in uh, Ville, right over there. Yeah, last year, and then we yes. cleaned it all up, and then actually throughout the year, his dad moved it in the middle and put a bunch of shit on there. You fucker! And um, on it and under it, and then we just just now moved it in the corner to get it out of the way um, to get us ready for the season. Ja. E. Well, anyway, so that's all clean, uh, ready for building uh, purposes. Even though that's not where we're gonna start this year. This year we're probably gonna start in the, we're gonna do it in the side yard. Like oh, we'll start with oh, the, yeah, the yeah. ship and everything. Yeah, we, so, gotta, we gotta get that going. Yeah, gonna be a, a very different theme this year. Obviously, now we're doing a sci-fi theme. It's gonna be on a ship. We're still gonna cameo the house. That'll be in there too. Yeah. We'll have that on like the, we, we're literally gonna try and use some of the, the front yard this year and, I promise yeah but so that will happen ship land but here's the other thing that we're gonna show you so we made a purchase uh, this year as well and From, there it is um, the backwoods the backwoods yeah thank you Taylor so this is a, shout out to them yeah this is a suit uh, worn by an actor in the movie uh, Ender's Game for all ten of you that saw that <laughs> But, granted, it's still from the movie, and we actually have the um, uh, certification. Of, and it's cool. So it is real. Yeah, it's real. Um, we have, yeah, this is just so badass. And we can have one of our infants in the maze wear it. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, as I see your size. A.K.A. Brendan. Yes. He's not going to wear it, but he could fit in there. I don't, I can't, girl. I can't actually fit in that. Although, yeah. later, I can actually fit in this suit. I don't know if you, if you, you need to lose it. weight. Yes, I need to get more anorexic for this. Because I'm trying to watch my figure. At the end of the video, we'll show you what, what I actually am going to wear. Because the other thing that we got with this was... Uh, well, we top, didn't get it with it. The helmet. Oh, the helmet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, stupid. <laughs> but yeah. And then after this, now, the next thing we're going to show is the blueprint for this year. So you'll actually see the ship and the house and all that. And yeah. All right, so here is the blueprint. You can see here on the right side, uh, we're actually going to be starting on the complete right side of the driveway. Um, so you're going to be walking in and you're immediately, uh, you're walking into the forest, the first part of the forest area, um, straight looking at the, the spaceship. Um, you're going to walk right next to it. You'll be able to see um, we'll the it. turbines. Yeah, the, the turbines with, with the letters. Um, and then as you walk into it more, we plan on having some rocks, a lot of, a lot of uh, our trees and stuff that we bought. And instead of going in front of the ship, you're going to keep walking next to it up on the, the bricks. And as you walk through, that's where we're going to uh, have our, our old house facade making a cameo appearance. Finally going on the lawn. Yeah, exactly. Finally going on the lawn. We're, we're so stoked about that. So we're actually going to have it where um, the, the people walk onto the patio or the, the porch this time mm -hmm. and there's gonna be an actor there and then they're gonna walk to the right off of the, the, the right side of the porch. Back in the porch, well they're always in the porch. Right? Yeah, and, and then back through a um, little structure, the house, at his actual house is gonna be right on the left so there's gonna be a little opening right there for, for the actors and, and the, the family. They're gonna come around back to the other side of the ship back into the ship that they go, and you're gonna step into it. Everything from that point on is gonna be elevated. You're gonna go around the cockpit. Control panel is gonna be right there. We're gonna do some uh, incarnations um, of what the ship is. We, we finally decided on it for this one, but you can't really tell it's a basic kind of outline. We'll show that in a later video. Uh, you're gonna go down the hallway. That's just like the connective hallway to the garage right here. We went there for the first time last year. This is the bunker room. Got some suits hanging, all that good shit. <laughs> Sex. The bathroom. It's gonna be two toilets. It'll be kind of like a, an industrial bathroom with this stuff. You'll go through one of the stalls. Uh, you know, it'll be all broken out and there'll be, you know, rust and, and all that kind of stuff. 
uh, on the ground. And, and then actually, yeah, there's gonna be rust on the ground and we're also gonna have on the ground as well as all the walls um, is gonna be tile board. So it's just gonna be yep. completely, and in that hallway immediately following the bathroom, we actually plan on having four shower heads, almost like if you guys play sports or uh, if you ever go to the gym, there's there's kind of like shower set up near, um, the near the bathroom, right all next to each other. Um, so it's kind of like a universal bathroom. Uh, then uh, as you go into that where it's yellow, where it's marked yellow, it's, that's gonna be our locker room. So that's basically lockers for changing um, in and out. Uh, you know, at least that's what it's supposed to appear like. It's, it's for, for changing in and out. And we're gonna have a bench right in the middle. Yep. Um, and then- Lockers. As, yeah, with the lockers, lockers. Yeah, with the lockers. Um, and then as soon as you walk past um, the lockers, you're gonna go straight into the chemical room, which is marked pink. Yep. We're not 100% what we're going to do with that room yet. We're still throwing ideas around, but in general, you know, it's a chemical room. We think that's sciencey, whatever. From there, you're going to go into the light room, which is uh, very largely inspired by the 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 one scene in the in Alien, the original Alien, where he goes in there and he's talking to the computer and all that. And there's a lot of lights on the walls. I think that's really cool, very spacey. You go into a hallway. This is the structure hallway. You see it says trees. It's gonna have like all the way around you, just trees, darkness, and then there's still gonna be some sci-fi elements with the structure all the way around you. And then um, as soon as you leave that area is gonna be our final room. And that's gonna be, we're gonna try to incorporate the idea of a, a basically a cargo room where there's a lot of, you know, a lot of the parts for, for any ships or whatever um, that's supposed to appear like that. Um, we're gonna have some bigger, bigger boxes that are gonna be, you're gonna have to walk around and you're gonna be able to choose which side you want to go. And we're also going to have, you know, some smaller boxes stacked on top and then, you know, put in the corner, kitty corner and stuff. Um, and that's also where we're going to, again, have our, uh, our our very first Unit 70 prop and the embalming table appear. And it's pretty much been at the end of every single maze that we've had, almost. Yeah, which is kind of cool. So it's yeah. a little... Uh, little Con uh, continuity, yeah, from... from uh, the last couple of mazes. Yeah, so and you, got, you got all the, and they're gonna have little, like you can go around multiple different ways. Everything's kitty cornered, sexy cornered. And um, that'll be really like disorienting. So this room actually has some cool stuff in it instead of just being like a waste or anything. I feel like the last room is not ever quite as good as the whole, like the whole maze. The whole rest of the maze. And it's obviously because it's at the very end and um, you know, we put all of our effort into the rest of it and we start to run out of a little bit of time. So, so we just, we try to throw it together as best and fast as we can before uh, we open. And that is the explanation and yeah, complete explanation of the blueprint. Yeah. Woo! Look at that. Let's do a little pan down and back up. Check them out. Look at that little package, little, little package. Notice I said that. So there it is. That is the orange jumpsuit and that is, or not jumpsuit, orange uh, astronaut suit that Brandon will be wearing for his costume and I'm most likely gonna get a similar one like that. You don't need to get an XL fat. Yeah, I'm afraid of it. But it is a little snug, but it's cool. I mean, it's pretty legit and everything. It, it's stretchy. Hey. So this is the helmet though from Ender's Game. Again, if you guys haven't seen it, neither have we. <laughs> but we did see the pictures. Now, how legit does that look? I don't even know how to put this on. Huh? Oh. Fuck it. Okay. Look at that. Look at that shit. That is insane looking. That's so awesome. So, as far as this goes, you just need like a, I forget what it's called. It's like an overhead type thing. It's, it's basically what, um... I don't know what a burglar wears when he robs a. Lunch. It's called a ski mask. Ski mask. No, but it's not that. It's something else. It's not actually a ski mask. It's, like it's kind of. It's what they wear. Um, if you actually, if you, mask, if you, though. if you're, if you are in like a race car, um, or if you ever go to K1 racing or anything like that, they make you wear this, uh, this, this thing so the helmet will slide on nicely and it'll fit more comfortable. Yeah. So that's that's the only thing that's missing. I actually have to get 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 get. get. I have to get that from Taylor at the Backwoods. Mm -hmm. um, he has some of those for us. Get that. But um, this is basically everything we like. can't talk at all. <laughs> you suck. That's a huge bitch! I'll show you. Hope you like the blueprint. Yep. Um, it's all me that drew it. You're welcome. If you haven't already donated to the GoFundMe, get on that. Um, the link is over my face right now. Uh, 
click on it and donate. If um, you can, even the little bit. And if you can't, tell friends, tell family, whoever, and maybe they can. Um, and and you know if if you if you want to support us financially, um, if not, you can always add us on. Uh, you can share it on your Facebook. You can add us on our Facebooks. Uh, Trevor Nielsen. Brandon Splutter. Um, make sure you add us on Instagram and subscribe if you have not. What's your name? My name is T underscore Neely K N E E L Y thirteen. Mine is Branstradam. And um, yeah, and also check out our website, PredictionHome.com.